Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Joe and Four Kitchen where we just enjoy food. So let's enjoy some Jamaican salt mackerel. I have two whole mackerel here and this is pickled mackerel as you can see which means that it has been preserved by using a lot of salt. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is to remove the excess salt. So I'm going to start by rinsing under running water. Then I'm going to drop these straight into my pot, bring to a boil and allow this to boil for 20 minutes. Now this is a 5 litre pot and I'm specifically using this pot because it's going to reduce the amount of times that we have to boil it. That said, if you're using a smaller pot, you may have to boil it twice. If you're using a smaller pot, I recommend that you change the water after 10 minutes, add fresh water and then boil again for the remainder 10 minutes. Once it starts boiling, it's best to either remove the lid or you can just leave it slightly on so that it doesn't boil over. Alright guys, so after 20 minutes of boiling, I've drained the water and I'm going to fill this with some cool tap water and allow this to cool down for a few minutes. So once this has cooled down, I'm going to start to flake and debone this. But first, there is like a film, I don't know if you can see, it, on the outer part of the skin that I like to just use my finger and remove like this. It's pretty easy to remove. right now I like to debone my mackerel I know it takes a lot of time but in my opinion it's well worth it so most people don't even bother to debone the mackerel they just cook it up with the bones and everything and this is why I never ordered this at a restaurant because it's almost impossible for them to debone the mackerel based on the quantity that they're cooking but I don't like to have all those bones to deal with, so I'm going to go ahead and debone mine. And the final step to prepping our mackerel is to just run this under some cool water for a few seconds in order to remove any salt that was trapped in between. And now this is perfect and ready to be cooked down. And don't be afraid to taste and see if it's to your liking. You can always boil it again, but there should still be some amount of salt in it. The aim is for our mackerel to be salted, not overly salty. So to cook up our mackerel, we have some fresh herbs here, which consist of scallion, onion, some sweet pepper, tomato, scotch bonnet pepper. You can leave this out or reduce the amount if you don't have a high tolerance of spice some garlic and some fresh thyme now I wanted to show you guys how I personally like to do my thyme I just take one of the little stems and just slide the leaves off like this so that way you don't have these little stems in your food now alternatively you can actually just throw in the entire thing and then remove the stem afterwards or you could chop them up if you wish next I have some tomato ketchup here and a little bit of all-purpose seasoning along with some black pepper I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of my green seasoning for the green seasoning I have two videos I'll go ahead and link them for you above as well as in the description 
So as you can see, it's mainly fresh herbs that we will be using to cook up our mackerel. And this comes together pretty quickly, so you need to have everything prepped and ready to go. And this is not to be confused with salt mackerel rondong. The difference between this and the salt mackerel rondong is that the rondong has coconut milk in it, whereas this is just regular cook up salt mackerel. So to my pot here, I'm going to be adding a couple tablespoons of oil, about one to two tablespoons. You don't really need a lot. I'm using some olive oil, but any oil can be used really. Once this heats up, I'm going to go ahead and drop in my seasoning. As well as my green seasoning. And I'm going to saute this for about a minute. After that, I'm going to add my ketchup. Followed immediately by a little bit of water. Don't need a lot, probably about half a cup or so. And then I'm going to go in with my mackerel. And then sprinkle on the dried seasoning. So at this point, you want to taste and see if it's to your liking. So you'd have noticed by now that I didn't add any salt for obvious reasons. But if you feel like you want to add a little bit more salt to yours, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to cover and let this cook down for about 2 minutes. After that, it should be done. This is a very popular breakfast dish. It's usually served with boiled green bananas, dumplings, and yam. I enjoyed mine with some boiled green bananas and cornmeal dumpling. You can check out this Aki and Saltfish video here, which is also another popular breakfast dish. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more delicious recipes. Visit my website at www.joinfo.com and follow me on my other socials. Links are in the description along with the recipe. Thanks for watching and until next time. Live life to the fullest and just enjoy food.